Good morning, boys and girls. It's a new week, and we're getting ready to start with a new lesson for Saxon Phonics. Today, we're going to do lesson six. The materials that you're going to need for the lesson today are worksheet number six, a pencil, your alphabet strip, and some letter tiles. These are the ones you'll need. I, T, P, N, O. So stop and take out the materials you'll need, and then you can start the video back up. Okay, our standard for today's lesson is the student will demonstrate understanding of spoken words, syllables, and sounds. All right, we have several essential questions, and we'll be working on these essential questions, these same ones, a good bit this year. What are the types of letters that make up the alphabet? What are the vowels in the alphabet? What are capital and lowercase letters? What are the letter sounds of each letter of the alphabet? All right, first I want you to take out your alphabet strip and let's put our finger on the first letter of the alphabet, the initial letter, and let's read the letters together. Get ready. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay, what was the initial letter of the alphabet? Tell your study buddy. A. A was the initial letter of the alphabet. What is the final letter of the alphabet? Tell your study buddy. Now your study buddy is could be your parent or if you have an aunt or grandma helping you, that's your study buddy. So tell your study buddy the final letter of the alphabet. Z. Final means last or at the end. So Z is the final letter of the alphabet. Who can tell me how many letters are in the alphabet? There are 26 letters in the alphabet. How, what two kinds of letters are there in the alphabet? Tell your study buddy. Yes, there are vowels and consonants. How many vowels do we have? Five. Five is correct if that's what you said. Let's name the vowels. A, E, I, O, U. Here, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. There are five vowels, and here they are. A, E, I, O, U. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to say some words that end with the same sound. I want you to uh, turn to your study buddy and tell them the final sound or the ending sound that's the same in each word. Echo, big, hug, pig, hog. Okay? What was the ending or the final sound in all those words? Big, hug, pig, hog. The final sound or the ending sound in all of those words is g, g. All right, let's do another set of words. Get ready. Echo, feel, smell, pull. What did you hear in the final position of all those words? Pull is the sound at the end of all those words. Let's do another set. Snow, toe. Grow, snow, toe, grow. What did you hear at the end of all those words? If you said, oh, you're right. All right, another set. Listen for the final sound. Sit, flat, hot. What did you hear at the end of all of those words? T. All of those words ended with the t 
sound. Okay? The last set. Echo. Less. Moss. Pass. What did you hear at the end of all of those words? S is what we heard at the end of all of those words. All right. Now, let's review our decks. Our letter and keyword decks. Okay? Here we go. Do it with me. Get ready. Now, this time we're going to say the letter name. And then in a minute when we see the pictures, we'll say the keyword and the sound that it makes. All right, get ready. P. T. O. N. Now we're going to do keywords. Nest. N. Octopus. A. Overalls, O. Tent, T. Pig, P. And that's our deck. Okay. Now, I want you to echo these words and listen for the sound that's the same in the beginning or initial position. All right, echo the sound. It, ill, if. Tell your study buddy the sound you heard at the beginning of all those words. It, ill, if. If you said if, you were right. Okay, if is the sound that we heard in the initial position of all those words. If is the short sound of the letter I. All right, put your fingers on your vocal cords and let's make that sound. Do it with me. If. Eh. Do you feel a vibration? I did. So that is a voiced sound because we feel a vibration. If we don't feel a vibration, it's unvoiced, but we felt one. So eh is a voiced sound. All right? Now, let's look at the board. We have these words up here. It, ill, if. What do you see that might be making the eh sound in all these words. If you said I, you're correct. All of these words begin with the letter I, so we uh, I must be the letter used to spell the I sound. Okay? Now, all vowels, I is a vowel. All vowels make at least two sounds. So I is the short sound, What's going to be the long sound of I? I. The long sound of a vowel is its name. So the long sound of I is going to be I. Remember when we learned about O? The short sound of O was A. But the long sound of O is O. So it's the same thing with I. The long sound of I is I. All right? Let's look at I. I is a word. It can, it's a letter that can be used in a word, but I is a word all by itself. And when we see I all by itself, it has to be a capital letter. Forever and always. I is capital letter. If it's by itself. Now, is I a vowel or consonant? Look at your handwriting strip. It's red, so it must be a vowel. Yes. I is a vowel. All right. Um, let's try to think of a sentence. I'll make a sentence, and then I want you to think of a sentence with the word I and tell your study buddy. All right. I like chocolate ice cream. That's my sentence using the word I. Now, you turn to your study buddy and make a sentence with the word I. I. Okay, now let's take a look at how to write the letter I. Now last week we practiced all of the letters of the alphabet, so we should be able to do this with no problem. Let's use a red marker today. All right, lowercase i starts at the dotted line. Come down, touch the bottom line, curl it up a little bit, and give it a dot. Okay, let's do it. 
do it again. Start the dotted line, come down, give it a little curl, put a dot. So you're going to practice in a little bit writing lowercase i. Uppercase i, go across on the solid line. Get in the middle of that line you just made and go top to bottom. Same thing at the bottom, just make another little straight line across there. Let's do another one. Go across on the solid line, get in the middle of that solid line and come straight down. Go to the solid line underneath it and make another straight line. That is capital or uppercase I. Okay? Now, uh, I want you to take out your letter tiles. I made some letter tiles so that I would have some too to do it with you. I want you to take out these letters. T, O, N, P, and the one for I. Now, what color is the lowercase tile? There's the uppercase on one side and lowercase on the other. Let's see. The purple ones are lowercase, I think. So, I want you to turn yours to purple. Maybe for tomorrow's lesson, I'll make the letters be purple in here, okay? All right. So I want you to use the purple letters, turn them all over so that you see only purple, and then we're going to spell some words. We're going to spell tip. All right? T -t. Find the tile that says t and slide it up. Well, did I freeze it? There we go. All right, we're spelling tip, so we heard t, then we hear i. What letter says i? I. Well, come on. Okay. T, i, p, p. Find the letter that says p. Now, we just spelled the word tip. Read it with me. We just spelled the word pit. P -I -T, pit. Okay, good job. All right, now, um, here is our letter tile for the letter I. All right, now I'm going to give you a key word for the short sound of I. Let me put this down. Listen to these clues and see if you can guess what it is. This is something we use when we measure. It is marked on a ruler, and it rhymes with pinch. All right? What is it? Inch. All right? So when we see this card tomorrow, we will say inch, i, inch, i. All right? 
Now, we have one more. Since I is a vowel and it has two sounds, we're going to get two key words. All right, the long sound of I is the sound we're looking for now. This is something that's made of ice, and we don't see it very often here, but in places where it gets really cold, you'll see it hanging off the uh, roof of the house. All right, it's long and thin and pointed. What do you think it might be? Icicle, I. See, this is the edge of somebody's house, the roof of their house, and these are icicles hanging off that. So when you see this card, you'll say, Icicle, I. Okay, now let's get our self. All right, this is a ruler, and on a ruler, you can measure an inch. Inch. Okay, so that goes with our short sound of I. And then this is icicle. This is an icicle hanging from the roof of a house. I. Okay? Now, I want you to get your paper, write your name at the top, use your best handwriting. Now, while you're writing your name, I'm going to point this out to you. Whenever we get a new letter and a new sound, we always have a keyword to go with it. Well, I is a vowel and it has two keywords. So we have two pictures. This one is inch and it goes with the short sound of I, I. This one is icicle, I. So this goes with the long sound of I. In a little bit, you can practice writing upper and lowercase I. But for now, I want you to put your pencil on number one and let's do our sounds, okay? I want you to echo the sound that I make, and then I want you to write it on the line. Number one, echo, mmm. Write the letter that says mmm on the line by number one. Number two, echo, ah. Oh. What letter says ah? Oh. Write it on the line by the number two. Number three, echo, t, t. What letter says t? Write it on the line by number three. Number four. Echo, O. Oh. Write the letter that says O oh on the line by number four. Number five, echo. P. P. Write the letter that says P on the line by number five. Okay? Now we've learned two new um, sounds. So we're going to have two new responses. Number six, echo, i, i. Write the letter that says i. We just learned it. And number seven, echo, i. Write the letter that says i on the line by number seven. Okay, now let's review our rules. Repeat after me. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Code it with a brie. Let's do it one more time. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Code it with a brie. All right, and this is a brie. We have the vowel in red because we know that there are five vowels and on our alphabet strip they're red. So we code it with a brief if there's a consonant after the vowel. All right, now let's do the next one. Repeat after me. An open accented vowel is long. Code it with a macron. One more time. An open 
accented vowel is long. Coat it with a macron. This is a vowel. It's open because there's not a consonant after it. So we put a macron up there. Okay, now let's code. We just reviewed, reviewed the rules for coding, so now let's, let's practice. All right, we've got two words that we're going to code. Let's do oh, blue. blue. All right, now find the vowel. The first thing you need to do every time is find the vowel. All right, what is it? I. Is there a consonant after it? Yes. So a vowel followed by a consonant is short. Code it with a brie. Okay, now let's read that word. Int, t, int, tent. Some people tent the windows in their car. That means they shade them a little bit. Tent. Now, that's not like the thing you go camping in. That's something else. This means a shade of a color. Okay? Now, let's look at this word. Find the vowel. What's the vowel? Put your finger under the vowel. Is there a consonant after it? No. So, it's not going to have a breathe up there. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Cut it with a breathe. We don't have a consonant. So, we have an open, accented vowel. It's long. Cut it with a macron. That's our little accent mark. All right, so let's sound out this word. No. No. No is the opposite of yes. No. All right. Now, let's go back to our worksheet. We're going to code these three words right here. All right, look at number eight. Look at, find the vowel in that word. Is there a consonant after it? No. So what do you put over that vowel? You put a macron because there's not a consonant after it. What's that word? I. I am going to read a book. I. All right, let's look at this word. Find the vowel. All right, here's the vowel, I. Is there a consonant after it? Yes. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Code it with a brie. Okay? Now, we're ready to sound this word out. Let's read it. T -i -p tip. Tip. This is the tip of my marker. Tip. All right, and the last word. Find the vowel. Is there a consonant after it? Yes. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Code it with a brie. Now we can sound it out. Do it with me. E n n pen. Whoops. Let me fix that back. Okay. Pen. Which one of these words goes with this picture? Is it this one? This one or this one? Read these three words and draw a line from the word to the picture that matches it. Okay? Now let's look at number 11. We're going to spell some words. All right? For number 11, let's spell the word no. All right? There are two blanks, so that means there are two letters. Sound it out. Hmm? Number 12. Let's spell the word not. N -a -t not. Not. 
We cannot go outside in the rain. Not. N -a -t. Not. Number 13. Let's spell the word tin. Some people have a tin roof on their house. That's metal, not the number. We're not talking about the number 10. We're talking about the metal. So let's make the sounds. T. I. N. Tin. T. I. N. Okay. Tin. My sister has a tin roof on her house. Tin. All right. Let's look at number 14. That is a big old pot. Let's write the word pot. It's got three blanks, three letters. Sound it out. P. A. T. P. A. T. Pot. Okay. Number 15. Top. T. A. Top. Okay. For independent practice, this is what you are going to do. You're going to practice writing upper and lowercase i in your best handwriting. Put your finger down after you write one and then write the next one. Then put your finger down and then write the next one. Right here, you're going to code these three words. Find the vowel and then remember the rule that tells us what to do. If it's a vowel and a consonant after it, we use a breathe. If it's a vowel and there's not a consonant after it, we use a micron. And then you're going to read these words and draw a line from the word to the picture that it goes with. This is a pot. So you're going to find the word pot and draw a line from the word pot to the picture of the pot. All right, for number four, you're going to write the word pop because someone's trying to pop that balloon. This one, you're going to spell the word Pin. Pin. Now, down here, these are words you can sound out. You can read these. So read these to your study buddy. All right? And that is your independent assignment. Okay, so today we have worked on a new letter and two new sounds. And so we know um, that a vowel makes two sounds. A long sound and a short sound. Okay, great job, boys and girls. Finish your independent practice, and we'll see you next.